All right, how's everyone doing tonight? I'm gonna go for a quick nighttime shave. Uh, I'm gonna be using some vintage Old Spice. Had it blooming. We got some uh, 3P on. Been a little while. Using my granddad's Ever Ready. It's been about three years since I posted a video. There was a whole lot going on at that time and had a newborn, had work schedule get changed, the COVID was still new, fresh. Um, so you had all that on top of politics were just kind of invading into everything and I was finding it hard not to talk about it you know I'm sitting here talking to y'all whomever's going to watch this video thank you by the way um, but the same token I'm coming up with what to talk talk about because I'm not talking to anyone, I'm talking to a camera. And once I run out of comments and stuff from the last video to talk about, I'm kind of at my own mercy of what's on my mind. And Things were getting a little crazy there. You take all that, and then I felt with the content I was producing, it wasn't uh, adding anything to the community. And as you might know, we have five kids, and sometimes it can get quite loud, so I'm trying to get a shaving video in while either everyone's asleep or anything like that. It's pretty difficult. I don't know if you can hear it right now. That's Apollo crying in the background with Nanny taking care of her while I'm in here sneaking away to try and do a quick video. Oh, as you can tell, I haven't shaved in a while. I don't know. So, to whomever watches this, we'll have to do a comment. Whomever comments if, saying whether, what we should do. Should we shave it or not? And I did say, also, I have a lot to get out, I guess, that once I made it to 100 subscribers, I was going to make a brush. I'll do a video of making the brush and send it out. Well, since I've been gone for three years and I've been at 100 subscribers since about two or three months after I stopped posting. Which, by the way, thank you if you're still subscribed. Yeah. All right. So I'm not going to be shaving everything off. Obviously. Um, and we can either go with the tie blade that I took out of the R41 head, or I guess R101 head, or we can go with a mixed bag and see how we do with that. The Kai is one of my favorite, but. Uh, I think we're gonna go for something. Totally different tonight. So, let's see. I'll let you pick. Which one? That one? That one. This one should be a treat. New Edge. All right. We'll see how that goes.
I've actually never used this blade before. Treat new edge. It should have a chance to shine. So yeah, I wasn't feeling like I was offering anything to the community that wasn't already available from other people. Um, you take into effect account that I was having a hard time trying not to talk politics on here. Not that I'm overly political, but that's just kind of what was going on at the time, I guess. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, and this was a R101, so it was the black polymer handle. It split and was spinning on me, so I replaced it with some blood wood. Um, let's see here. This will be super quick here. I haven't done this in a while. Use my phone instead of a mirror. Oh wow, that is that is smooth. So I'm kind of losing that a little bit. So since we'll probably be doing three brushes and giving away three separate brushes to three separate people. If y'all have a favorite handle design, let me know. And whichever ones kind of went out, that's what I'll try and copy to make the giveaway brushes. It's a really comfortable blade. We'll see how efficient it is. So, I don't really know what to do to make the shaving videos a bit more interesting or whatever. So I do make my own, well, I have a recipe to make my own shaving soap. I can make a video of making that recipe and uh, I could potentially give the recipe away, I guess. It, I'd love to do something like making my own and sending it out, but it is quite a to do. Um, maybe we'll do that as part of the giveaway. Maybe we'll just do a series where we just make everything that we're going to send out. Maybe do a wooden bowl, send that out to hold some soap, make some soap, and uh, a shaving brush. Yeah. If anyone does watch this, thank you again. And uh, let me know what you think about that. Exceedingly comfortable. This is where my hair grows funny. Oh, yeah. That was nice. And I gotta look over here if it was too much of a shadow. I can probably do this way. I can't do it. 
I have to go in the other bathroom with a better uh, light setup. I know the lighting in here is not great. I probably sound pretty tinny with my voice. A little under the weather. School just started up a little while ago. That treat new edge. Why don't want you can't see that? Treat new edge. What does that say? Super shaving blade. <laughs> That's some awesome. Super shaving blade. Right. That was made in a country where the second language is English. I don't know where it was at. Um, right. but I have plenty of other hobbies. I just don't think that the, uh, this channel would probably receive it well. You know? I don't know how YouTube does for that, but I'm really not doing this for subscribers. Like I love reloading. I go to the, I go to the shooting range. And then I'm just... All right, give me just a second. I gotta not look like a, I don't know, some type of Native American face painted warrior here. with our vintage Old Spice. We have same thing here, vintage Old Spice. There we go. I just don't believe that the same people that watch shade videos have the same overlap in like reloading or anything like that. We have chickens, we have seven chickens. One of our chickens just got taken out by a neighbor's dog. So that was a wild day. And um, let's see, sorry if I'm rambling. I haven't done this in a while. So hopefully this will, hopefully I'll get back into it. And uh, if this, video was received well or anything. I'm probably trying to make this a multi-weekly thing. And uh, let me know about what you think about the shaving brush giveaway. I'm for sure gonna do three. Uh, doing one and having people wait for so long uh, seems ridiculous. And, and that's a small way for me to say I'm sorry for being away for so long. If anyone did get any uh, enjoyment or information from these videos. I truly enjoyed making them. I just felt like I wasn't uh, offering anything that wasn't already on the internet. Yeah, out there. Um, plenty of other people were able to do it way better than I was, or am. My wife just got me this, uh, I think two weeks ago. And uh, I think I mentioned it in one of the videos years ago, and she's been rewatching it. That's kind of why I was like, you know, I might, might should try and get back at uh, making a video or two. So, if anyone watches it, please let me know what you think. And uh, I probably won't be making any reloading videos, but if there are plenty of people out there that want to see, I do uh, regular 223556, uh, 6.8 SPC, 338 Lapua, 6F Creedmoor. Um, I don't have any pistol stuff. I do like to shoot pistol. I only have two, but uh, oh my goodness, that's pretty nice. I don't know if y'all have ever seen or smelled this stuff, but it's pretty nice. It's uh, let's see here, 
top notes of fig, love fig scented stuff, passion fruit, pink, guava, soil accord, you know, kind of get that in there. Uh, hay, incense, minerals, night blooming jasmine, which is perfect. It's a bat and it's shaped at night, as you can tell. Um, animalic notes, you know, got to gotta feel a little animalic before going to bed. Some leather, even better. Uh, mossy stones. Stones can't be touched to get mossy, so that's not how it is around here. Teak wood and vetiver. Um, and it is incredible. And it changes about five times in the first 15, 20 minutes. And then it mellows out after about two hours and smells just deep. I don't know. And woody and that vetiver really shines through, which is kind of like a woody grass scent. I believe if I do anything else, I'll probably just be rambling on. Uh, and hopefully the presentation will be better next time. I'm gonna try not to look down there. I didn't know what to do. It is, you're seated on, you're seated on a shoe box inside of my bathroom on top of the toilet because there's too much noise coming from the rest of the house. And I haven't shaved much because this is the only aftershave I use. And this is the same one I had three years ago. And this is the 444. It's one of my favorites. And uh, for sure, that blade is a superstar. We'll have to try and, after we go through the rest of our blades, we have three sample packs. We have like a hundred plus blades that are just, we have three bags like this. Quite a few of them are new to me, some of them are not. I might do a series like that. I don't know if I ever showed this off in a video before either. My wife bought me this, so I probably should, I couldn't have. This was probably from two Christmases ago, or my birthday or Father's Day, one of the two, but it took like eight months to get here, and I wasn't making videos at the time. And this is ceramic, and it is made to look like rusted iron pretty cool with the rivets and stuff so, all in all that was a great shave um, i'll talk to y'all soon